Uh, I'd like to bring up Britt and Drew off of the Wild West Crypto Show. The reason I'm bringing them up at the very, very, at the beginning of this, they're old and they're going to need a nap in about a half hour. So, <laughs> come on up, guys. I tell you, hey folks, give it up for this guy right here. <laughs> hey, I have to tell you, about a year ago when we first met Ben, we're at World CryptoCon. John Kim, he's hiding now somewhere. He's around here somewhere. John Kim comes and wheels Ben in, and he says, guys, y'all got to meet this guy. And Ben just sits down. We're interviewing people like this, right? Ben kind of cocks his head. He's sitting between us. He kind of cocks his head. He looks at me, and he goes, I got to tell you something. I said, yeah, and he goes, I got a speech impediment. I said, me too, I talk too damn fast, so let's just do this. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, the heart of this guy, what he's doing, the fact that people will come out to see him, you hit the nail on the head, buddy, I do have grandkids. You're closer to it than he is. Yeah. But, but let me tell you something, it is, we don't have to be doing this. Brent's building a 21,000 square foot building, part of how many tens of thousands of square feet you built? Oh, 120,000 probably. In yeah. That, in that particular office park. In that, in yeah. that. It's it been a certified financial planner. I've been in radio and television work. We are doing this because we have a responsibility to the people that we're leaving this earth to. And it is, I've got two grandsons and a granddaughter on the way. And if I know what I know, and I jump in my motor coach with my pretty little wife, and we just go out farting around and we just let this thing fall apart, Shame on us. So when we started Wild West Crypto Show, we made a bunch of money. Okay, no, we haven't. <laughs> but what we did is we set out in a mission to bring everyone who has something to lend to this. One of the things you'll find, there's almost no one we will not bring on the show, right? Oh, yeah. In fact, we had a guy from town that found out watching the show, goes, they, they're from Kerrville. I live in Kerrville. So he shows up at my office. And they escorted him back. We happened to be taping the show. We brought him in, sat him down, and interviewed him. And it was great. I mean, he was a senior, had gotten into crypto, you know, didn't tell the wife at first, you know, yeah. but he made a little bit of money. So then he let her know, and she got to spend a little of it, so she let him keep going, you know. We, we do get in trouble like that. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, you know, one of the interesting things about our show, and one of the things that we try and, and, and bring to heart is we always talk about our redneck buddies. Uh, we, I actually do drive a 2006 Dodge 3500 diesel truck with a manual transmission. But we wear these costumes. No, we wear these all the time, minus the, minus the, the vests, okay? And so you'll see us, and we run around with cowboy hats and, and so on and so forth. But what is Drew has multiple inventions, brought multiple products to the market successfully, in fact, back in the 80s, I think it was, uh, 80s, early 90s, did kind of a shark tank type of a deal, but it was non-profit. And what, uh, how many, yeah, 20? We, we, we mentored 29 inventors. This is in 99 yeah. to 2005. We mentored 29 inventors because innovation, entrepreneurism is the backbone of this country. And how many made money? 28 of them. So guess what? 28 of 29 is not, but they, they did miss the red box deal, you know, where they got the uh, videos. I was uh, hoping you wouldn't tell us. And Walmart and all that sort of stuff. So I had to pop his bottle a little bit right there. But you know, what, what all of us don't realize, in my background, I started with Merrill Lynch when I was 23. I was a certified financial planner, registered investment advisor, ran my own mutual fund. And so for those people like myself that are classically trained in finance, we're real concerned because if you have any real knowledge, you understand just how over leveraged this country is. Uh, the banks are broke. Um, in fact, if you if you get a check for like ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars commission check drawn on a bank, try and go to that bank and walk out of there with cash. They don't have that much cash in the bank. Okay, and I don't care if it's you know Wells Fargo. I don't care who it is. All right. And so when you sit down, in fact, I was doing the math for somebody that was in that. I pointed out to them that if you take the total number of banks and the amount of actual printed money and you divide it by the total number of banks, you know, each bank has about $4,000 of, of printed cash. 
And so my dad, who's 90, he calls Drew and I's show The Invisible Money Show. <laughs> Where are you going, son? Dad, I'm going to Philly. Oh, what are you going to do? And I'm, I'm going to be working on the Wild West Crypto Show stuff, and we've got to meet up there, and then we got to, oh, your Invisible Money Show. You know? And I said, Dad, I have news for you. Your money is invisible, too. Okay? And so even though a lot of people out there chide us with having electronic money, all money is electronic now. Okay, there, unless you've got folded paper in your back pocket, everything you have is electronic and can be taken away like that. One thing I learned at Merrill Lynch was I had a guy bring me $350,000. Here, young man, I, I put it in the money market, for what the money markets that are going crazy now, put it in the money market, didn't think anything about it. He comes back the next month and he says, uh, calls me on the phone, yelling at me. I said, no, I shouldn't have given it to a young kid like you. And, da, 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 da. and so I just started laughing. I figured that was a smart thing to do, just start laughing, okay? And, and all of a sudden he stopped, and what are you laughing at? I said, sir, I'm sorry, but Merrill Lynch moves about $2 trillion a day. And frankly, we lose between five and $10 million every day. I said, your $350,000 is part of the $10 million we lost that day. But I said, you know, it probably got stuck in somebody else's account. You know, I'll have it back for you in about 15 minutes. I'll call you right back. I'll go back, and sure enough, the girl in the back that's typing all the things transposed the last two account numbers and stuck it in some lady in Florida's account. So, bing, bing, bong, bong, and now it's back in his account. I have a report. I call him. I show him. What that taught me at a very early age is with fiat, with electronic money that is controlled by a double entry accounting system, you can disappear and it's not real hard for them to do. All right? Hey, hey folks, I, I will tell you, most of y'all here are in this and you came out to meet a few folks and further your knowledge and all this. Ben hit the nail on the head. This is the beginning of a change that is really put in control back in the hands of people. What I love about this, not just in this country, because this country has owned the world economy since World War II, and probably before that. Yeah. But the bottom line is, it, what's so funny is I'm talking to a couple of these guys over here, they're going, I quit my job to do this. Pro I would, I'm willing to bet, most of the people sitting in this room are not making money doing what we're doing, but we are doing this because it's the right thing to do. And the passion and the education and the mission that we're on, we've got Jorg and Angie over here, they fly over here, got here a couple of days ago, because they want to make that same change globally in the things that we're doing. And so I, I have to tell you, I, I'm humbled and honored that we're able to come and be amongst these people. I love what Ben said earlier, that 1776 is the date that we all celebrate, and we got the Liberty Bell not far from here, right? The Liberty Bell is close to here? Yeah. You know, only in the world of crypto can you have people come from Germany and Austria to come hang out with a couple of cowboys in South Texas to uh, work up some very interesting future projects. Yeah, exactly, and, and we've been there, so we know what that, yeah. But anyway, I can't thank you folks enough. Uh, pay attention to the things that we're doing. One of the things that, I, if you are a content creator, if you have a message, if you're wanting to get into this business, you don't, have to, don't know how to do it, and all of this team, including Ben and these guys, we are, we formed a company called Blockchain Media Group, and we are bringing everybody's message to the masses, because I will tell you one other thing. Hollywood's lying to you, the banks are lying to you, the government's lying to you, the medical system's lying to you. We're and not going to lie to you. And if you're not married, your girlfriend's lying to you. Ben, <laughs> who do you want me to give the mic to next? No! 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 Hey, no. hey I'm spooning with John tonight. He's staying with us. John, you're not spooning, it's, it's buddy. It's the crazy Asian. <laughs>